Do they still do that in some of those magazines where they like dump out, dump out some celebrity's purse and say, what's in my bag? I haven't read a magazine in a long time. I guess that's very telling. But I always think if, that, if somebody dumped out my bag and say, what's in my bag? You would find this shiny piece. Hi everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here. So today we are going into the second series of my top five favorites, and today is all about the lips. So if you've seen the video, and I'll link it up above, that is my series of my top five favorites for each product. And because there are so many different products, just to cover your eyes, for example, I wanted to break this series up into just the eyes, which is the video I posted last week, and I'll link it up above. And so today is all about the lips, and then we're gonna do one all about the face, and all about the cheek. I know cheeks are on your face, but I thought I would do it separate because cheeks will thus also include powdered blush, cream blush, and highlighter. Special thank you to Stacy, Mallory, and Pam Arnold because on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, I'll link that right here below so you can follow me on Instagram. I asked in the series, which would you like to see next? And so both Stacy and Pam, you guys had asked for lips next, so this one is for you. So today we're gonna cover a lot about the lips, and I was gonna go a step further and just talk about teeth, because I felt like if you're gonna talk about lips, you almost have to talk about teeth. And, I, and then I thought, do I have five favorites in teeth? And I really don't. I brush my teeth with a powdered, um, that I'll link down in the description box below. And then I do use Crest White Strips and Crest um, uh, Fluoride Bleaching. I'll link it down below, it's like brilliant white. Um, and then I go to the lips. So the next part of the whole look, if you will, is I have lip scrub, we've got moisturizer, we've got top five lip liners, top five matte lipsticks, top five regular non-matte lipsticks, and then top five lip tint slash stain, and then a couple bonuses. One bonus I'm throwing in is my top three lip plumpers. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my all-time favorite hands down lip combo between lip liner and lipstick. And this is year round. I probably out of 365 days a year, I probably wear this lip combo. Yeah, I'm kind of a creature of habit if you haven't noticed with my nails too. I like sort of neutral that blends with everything. Uh, but my lip combo is probably 350 days out of the 365. With some slight variations in fall, I'll try to go a little bit darker. Uh, winter or around the holiday season, if I'm going to a holiday party, I might go a little bit darker on the lip and lighter on the eye, but that's typically not my norm. I just don't, that look just doesn't look as comfortable for me, so I stick more with a darker eye and a lighter lip. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with lip scrubs. So, the top five lip scrubs were a little hard for me to find because I don't really have five lip scrubs, but I did find four. The number one lip scrub to me that I use the most is a DIY, which is just some coconut oil and some sugar. Now you can use the turbine sugar or the brown sugar or regular sugar if you have it, but just mix it with a little coconut oil like I've done here. And some people prefer to use honey. I just think honey is, a little harder to work with, it just gets a little messier, and I always have coconut oil on hand because I have two separate coconut oils, one in the kitchen and one in my bathroom. Um, but the one in my bathroom I'm using to do co um, conditioner on my hair each week, and then I also use it to wash my face, which you've probably seen in several of my skincare videos. So I prefer to use the coconut oil with the brown sugar. I just, I just like the taste of brown sugar, so if it accidentally gets on my lips, I can just wash it off, and if you taste it, you taste it. The second one, though, if you don't like the DIY situation with the coconut oil and sugar or honey and sugar, then there is this Eco Lips Lip Scrub uh, and this is $3.97 at Walmart, and it's essentially the same thing. I do like this one because I like to keep it in my travel pack, because you know if you're going somewhere where it's hot or opposite where it's super cold and you're in and out of the cold and the winter and the wind chill, and then you're in the warm weather, your lips can tend to get a little bit chapped, then I like this one because it's just very similar to your homemade DIY one. It has that gritty scrub into it, and it doesn't have an odor, which I love. So this is the Eco Lip Scrub, and again, I will link all of these products in the description box below in case you're interested in purchasing any of them. But these are my current top five in almost every, and when I say current, it's I'm always testing new products, so I just don't wanna say these are my all-time favorites, but to make this short list of five, most of these are more than just sort of a fly-by-night favorite. Most of these are 
Well, you'll see some of the packaging has been rather worn because I throw it in purses and stuff all the time. So the next one that I have for you is a one that most people use on the lip scrub, but this is the Fresh um, at, for $18. And I love the smell of the Fresh, and this is a fine example of one that does not have any writing left on it because I've had it and use it. I keep this one actually in my vanity so that as I'm going to put on lipstick in the morning or for a night out or something, I can just put it on my lips and it's not part of my home spa day, which is when I use the DIY one. Um, it comes in a nice plastic jar. It's $18 from Ulta or Sephora. And you know, Fresh is just, I love a lot of their products, but it's a nice gritty, not sticky, nice soft scrub to get off all of those dead skin cells and all that dry skin off of your lips before you put something on it like a lipstick or a lip liner. And as we age, using matte lipstick is becoming more challenging. However, if you are going to use a, la a matte lipstick, it's even more important that you first use a scrub, similar to if you're gonna self tan, you use an exfoliant before you self tan, just to get rid of any of that dead skin so that the lipstick, matte or not, has a nice smooth, soft surface to apply itself to. I always start with the lip scrub. Those are three of my favorite. I apologize, that's the only category where I only have three, I don't have five. But everything else, there's five. But the DIY one really kind of trumps everything, so you don't really need five. But there you go for the lip scrubs. The next category that we're going to move to now that we've scrubbed our lips and we've removed all that dead skin is moisturizer. Now I love a good moisturizer. This will be no surprise to you guys. I keep one in my nightstand before I go to bed. It's really the last thing that I do. When I get up in the morning after I've washed my face, I put it on so that my lips are getting nice and soft before I put on any of my makeup. It's in my bag, it's in every car so that I can constantly be grabbing it. But my favorites are hands down, $3.99 is this Aquaphor, and I just love this stuff, and I love it because it's it's effective, and it's a small little one. I also really do like the angle of that so that you can just put it on, on your lips, but it's easy to get. You can find it at any drugstore. I actually also carry this big tub, um, and I didn't stage it there. It's always there because I use it throughout the day, and I just stick my finger in this one and put it on my lips, but I won't do that on camera because I'm trying to be all professional, look more beauty expertise and use it the right way. So anyway, this is $3.99. I would absolutely highly recommend the Aquaphor. The second one, and I, I hesitated adding this one because I found this, I live in Washington State, and I found this in a local health and nature store, and I have fallen in love with it. So I really wanted to recommend it to you guys, but then I thought, gosh, can you find it in other places? And you can order it online, and some Whole Foods are starting to carry it. It looks like it's called Buddha Butter and it has a picture of a little Buddha on it. It's vegan free, it's cruelty free, it's soy, bean, and gluten free. And those are some of the reasons I love it. But I have to say, the number one reason I love this, and this is $4, and you can order it on buddhabutter.com. What I love about it, and I think this is a genius idea, is the see the size and the shape of that lip so compared to most of them and any lipsticks, they're more like circle. This just absolutely curves to the contour of your lip and is a genius idea. And I don't know why no one thought of this before. So that is hands down and it's so, um, it's got shea butter in it. It's so moisturizing and my lips feel great for hours after I've used this. I This is the one I reach for the day after I wear a matte lipstick is this um, Buddha Butter. And I, they, I've noticed that they're coming out with more and more products. They're made in Bellingham, Washington. Pure bliss for your lips. But the shape of it, I, I if there's cosmetic companies watching this, this shape, I don't know if it's a registered trademark or not that shape, but that shape for a lip product of any sort is just, that oval, it just fits the contour of our lips so much nicer that it's just a home run. So Buddha Butter in Bellingham, Washington, you guys knocked out of the park. Love, love, love this. I do keep this one in my car. In fact, um, we went to the store yesterday. I'm like, I need some more of those. So I grabbed like four more of them because I, I don't want to be without these. $4 all organic. The next one is this Hemp Lip Balm and it's $8.99 and it comes in a variety of flavors. You can get it with most of the hemp. Um, I use the lotion. Here's the newest lotion I got from them. This one's Pumpkin Spice. But it's made by California Gold. They first came out with the um, Suntan 
lotion for the tanning beds years and years and years ago and obviously they've had to sort of pivot their business model away because of the unsafe conditions of tanning beds. Um, so this is a triple moisturizer. It's a healing herbal balm. It's It says hemp. There's no THC in it. I don't even think it has CBD in it. It's it's not. It has contains no drugs, um, legal or otherwise. It just has a very big marijuana plant on it, but it does not have marijuana in it. So I love this one because of its moisturizing components in it, and my lips also feel very smooth with it. So depending on where I am, what I'm doing, One's in my purse. I carry a lot of these around. They're a little smaller. But if you're in Ulta and you want to try some good moisturizer, this would be a good home run. The next one, you guys probably saw me do a, um, this was in my Sephora haul. This is a Laneige lip sleeping mask that was $22. Now this does come with a little rubber spatula, which is nice because you know you can dip it in there versus me with my fingers trying to dip it in there. But keeping that spatula somewhere clean and somewhere where you're gonna be able to use it again and not just put it on the bottom of a drawer, the spatula is almost important, but it became more of a nuisance. I like this stuff. It smells fantastic. It's just not easy to use when you're on the go. So, you know, this channel is really catered towards busy and ambitious women and people trying to get things done in their lives. I just found this slows me down. And yes, it's nice and it's a nice sleeping mask, but I can't say that it works any better than any of these other ones that I have. So $22, it is a very nice smell. It'd be a nice gift if you know somebody that really likes lip balms, because it does have a nice smell to it. It's just not easy to use, I didn't find. And then the last one in moisturizer is this Clay de Pro. If you could only see all the lip products on my desk right now. I apologize, they keep knocking over. This is the Clay de Pot Rose Quartz, and this retails for $38. What I like about this is it leaves a nice dewy finish, but it's also moisturizing on the lips. This one is Rose Quartz, so it's really a clear, you know, very clear color. It doesn't get, it's not sticky, which I really love about this one is, let's just put it on. It's not sticky in any means. So I do like the fact that you can put it on and if a little bit of hair gets in it, your hair doesn't stick. Although it just did in my little, that was not a very scientific test, but I don't find that throughout the day it sticks my to my hair and my lips. So that covers it in my top five moisturizers. So now let's move to lip liners and there's some good ones in here. Well, obviously they're my top five current favorites, so I hope they're all good. But what I found as I was putting this together is that I'm not real, um, I don't, I play it really safe when it comes to lip liners. In fact, you'll see in these colors, they're all pretty similar in color, right? I know, I'm really, really adventurous when it comes to lip liner. The first one is the NYX, and this is in the color neutral. This is $4 at Ulta, which you can't beat that. And it's a really nice nude color, wears very well. And for more mature aging lips, it is easy. It's a nice pencil. You can sharpen it with your pencil. You know, as you get those more smoker lines as we age, this tends to not fill the ridges as much. Like I can draw a straight line with this and it stays straight. I don't see where it sort of bleeds throughout the day. So the color payout as well is good. It lasts long and it sort of stays where I want it to stay which is why you'll hear about this one again as we move throughout the, the, the list today. The next one is $4.99 and this is the Milani. I'm a huge fan of Milani and the more I do reviews, the more I love Milani as almost every product. I love their blush. I've loved, loved, loved their foundation. Um, I love their lip liner. There's a lipstick coming up for Milani. So if you're looking for a good drugstore brand and you like to stay within a brand for all of your product, uh, Milani, Elf have really been impressive and ColourPop. So here is the Milani. And again, whew, well, those two could almost be a dupe for one another, but one's $4 and one's $4.99. So there's the NYX natural. And here is the Milani and all natural. So. Clearly I like those two colors. And then the next one we're gonna do the MAC, MAC Burgundy. Now, if you like those darker wine colors or if you like to change your color when it comes to fall, then you will really like this color. Um, it's an old one. It's been around for a long, long time. That Burgundy from MAC, it is $19. And I just, I love it when I'm gonna go with those darker colors throughout the fall. It's perfect to, and I think this is probably from last fall, if we're being honest. The next one is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic um, iconic Nude. It goes with her Pillow Talk lip pencils. 
It is a also very beautiful color, very creamy. It retails for $22. What I like about it is it does go on nice and creamy and when you sharpen it, the tip is not so soft that you're constantly, sort of like that eyebrow pencil when you break the tip off of your eyebrow pencil and you have that little dark nodule that then you're trying to get out of your eyebrows. Some lip liners can do that and I find that um, the Charlotte Tilbury ones do not. They're very soft and creamy and I like to use hers for not only the liner but the base. I like to do my whole lip in this color and then put on a lipstick on top of it so iconic nude Charlotte Tilbury can't go wrong with that one and yeah not a big uh, variety in colors here if you like if you if you're looking for a product but you're like gosh that's that's not my skin tone I'm lighter than that or I'm darker than that these are good brands and then you can use a look at the colors within that formulation because you should get the same color payout and the same long-lasting effect if you stick within that same brand, same product, just the color that looks more natural for you or the color that you're going for. So I don't want you to feel like, gosh, I'm not that color, so those aren't gonna work for me, but just use a color that's in that line or that brand. And then the last one is Peachy Nude by Chanel. This one's $31. What I do love about this one though for that price point is it comes in a pencil, but it also comes in a brush. So once you line your lips, you can very easily, well, it's not really easy, but you can brush if you have a mirror, it's a little harder without the mirror, and brush away the harshness of that line. You know, that 1990s look that was really popular back then where you've got that much darker lip liner and then the lighter color lipstick. This helps you blend that dark line so that you don't have that harshness. So I do like it for that reason. Do you need to spend $31 to brush what you can do with your finger? No, but it's a good color. It's a great brand, very nourishing, and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a nice, nude let's just put it on there with all the other colors yeah it's much more pinky i feel good about that pink one because now at least they're not all like one shade away from one another so now let's go to matte lipsticks i'm going to wipe some of this off now matte lipsticks are not my favorite for aging skin one i don't like that drying effect that they have throughout the day i feel like my i feel like i'm in an intensive repair for the next two days after I wear a matte lipstick. And quite frankly, it just doesn't do anything for my more dewy finished foundation that I like to have. I did buy into the whole matte lipstick thing, you know, a year or two years ago when Kylie Jenner made it so popular. But, and if the rest of your makeup is matte, then it sort of looks natural. But if the rest of your makeup is more shiny or dewy or glowy, that matte lip just to me looks unnatural. So, which obviously most makeup looks unnatural, but you know what I'm saying. So in terms of matte lipstick, I have found some that I like. I don't wear them that often, but I did want to put them in here just in case you like a matte lipstick. My number one is this Milani and it sells for $8.99 and it is in soft rose and it is a really pretty now the dual thing about this milani is it is also a lip plumper i mean that is just a really pretty color so if you think that's going to be too light for you they have a nice selection of colors and a nice color range in this pl lip plumper and again that's one of the reasons that i like it so much is because it's also a plumper and a moisturizer all in one and it's the second one is by from Stila and this is the Carmelo and it is $16 and it's a really pretty color it's just I found it to be drying but the color is so beautiful that if I'm gonna wear it I will put a nice lip gloss on top of it but I do know that after I wear this I'm gonna have to add some moisturizer for the next day or two because my lips will absolutely be dry. But what I love about this matte lipstick from Stila, the reason it's in my top five favorites is because once it dries, it does not move. I've had this thing on for hours. In fact, you'll see, I'll just leave it on so that it'll dry and you can kind of see how long it'll last. It just doesn't move. So if you're going out somewhere and you need a long, you know, long, long wear out of something, then this Stila would be your, your it says all day stay. All day stay liquid lipstick and it does. The next one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's beautiful. It goes with any of these lip liners that I just shared with you. It's a really pretty color. It's definitely matte. Um, it looks a little bit probably more rose on my arm in here than it does really when you actually wear it. It lasts a long time and boy, it just can almost make any complexion look really, really pretty. So it's, I haven't seen anybody wear that, I should say, and thought, oh, that just does not match your skin tone. It really does tend to have an ability to sort of morph because of the cool and warm neutral tones to it. It melts into everybody's skin 
overall. Maybe that's why it, so many people love it, but if you haven't tried it, now you can find a mini uh, Pillow Talk with a Pillow Talk lip liner for I think like $22 at Sephora and at Nordstrom. So if you wanted to try it, there are some holiday gift sets that are coming out that might be just perfect for you. The next one is this NARS, and I really did love this when I first saw it come out. It's been out for about five or six months, I think. And this is 30, $34. This is the Claudette, and I have the Audacious as well. They are, they define matte lipstick though. So just be prepared, there's no shine. The finish on that is matte. Um, it's not as drying, I don't think, as the Stila one. That's kind of what you get with matte lipstick. I love the color payoff. And then the fifth one is Chanel. This is $40. And this is a, this is called Chic Beige. Now with Chanel, what I like about it is not only do you get this color, but then you also get a nice gloss to go on top of it with a brush. So you can, and it, it does get a little sticky, I have to say, you can almost see how sticky that is. We'll do the sticky test. Um, <laughs> sticky test. So th I, that is nice because then you can sort of set it with a gloss if you like the gloss on top of a matte. Sometimes you may just want to wear just the matte and then other times you may want to wear that gloss on top of it. So you do sort of get two in one and that does help justify the value of that price point of $40 perhaps. And it comes in a lot of different colors. I think there's, this is the chic pink beige one that I mentioned. There's two more. There's another one, there's another one. So it does come in a variety of colors where you'll be able to choose which one works best for you. All right, so those are my top favorite matte lipsticks. And see, this is that Stila one, and I think it's almost dry, but let's just leave those on for a minute and then rub them and see which one lasts longer, because that's sort of the selling point of matte lipsticks is that they're supposed to last a lot longer. Now let's go to non-matte, and this is where it got really fun because this is the area where I play in much more often than not. The first one is by e.l.f., and what I love about this one by e.l.f. for $4 is that it is, this is bronze cherry, and what I love about it is it is cheek, it can be eyes if you'd like, and it's lips. If you can find a product that you can throw in your purse, in your backpack, in your travel kit that is quick and you can do a couple things with it, as you guys have heard me say before, that is a dead winner for me. Now, what I love about this is it looks matte, but it's not, and it's very moisturizing. So it's a nice, it's more of a bronzy color. So I will wear this much more in the fall, but it also makes a very nice blush. So again, for $4 for something quick and there's a huge color payout, um, or excuse me, there's a variety of colors in this e.l.f. one. So not a bad deal at all. The second one is for $8.99. This is Shining, no, sorry, $8.99 Shining Peach. Surprise, surprise, you guys, if you've watched my videos, you know that this Shining Peach, which is number 910 in L'Oreal, is always gonna be in every lip tutorial or top five or anything that I use. If I was ever on one of those, do they still do that in some of those magazines where they like dump out, dump out some celebrity's purse and say, what's in my bag? I haven't read a magazine in a long time. I guess that's very telling. But I always think if, that, if somebody dumped out my bag and say, what's in my bag? You would find this Shining Peach hands down and this Buddha Bliss, <laughs> probably true. Um, so that's gonna be in there as well, Shining Peach. The next one is one that I found about three months ago, and this is the 24 hour Super Stay color by Maybelline. What I love about it is it comes with, it's 24 hour stay, this side comes with a nice lip moisturizer. So in order to apply any type of a lipstick, you want your lips moist. Like that's why we have those five for the moisturizer. But this one comes right with it. So you can, you know, instead of taking the extra step as you're getting ready to put on the moisturizer and then do the rest of your makeup, then your lips. This is just always with you in your purse, in your bag, wherever in one handy step. So I do really like that dual purpose with that. And then the color on this is really nice. Again, this one, Perpetual Plum. And it's a nice, bright, perfect for me for fall. You could probably wear it in the summer with just a really light eye, some mascara. And I really do love that color because it lasts a long time. And it's also a nice fall transition. And then when you put that uh, moisturizer on underneath it, it's just winter. So Maybelline does really well, I think, in their mascaras and in their lip products. So some nice colors so far. I'm feeling very colorful. And as always, I'm gonna run out of room. So 
Let's go down to the next one. Number four for non-matte lipstick is RMS from RMS Beauty. And this one is a small pod for $25. Similar to the um, some of the other products where you have to use your finger. I don't love it for that. But what I do like is that this one's not so deep that I have to dig my finger in it. And when you get, when you have nails, then you get the product underneath your nails. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is flat enough of a product line that you can easily rub your finger on it and rub your lips. I really love this one. I was introduced to this one um, by Tati years ago, uh, this color. She actually had it on over another color and it's been a, it's been a fan favorite of mine ever since. And then the last one for non-matte lipstick is it's a little bit of a splurge. It's $58 and it is the Tom Ford and it is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a nice, pretty nude blush. Now, if you are looking for a nice lipstick and you want to splurge, then this is a good splurge. And then I've got a Sicily one coming up in a little few minutes. It's also a nice splurge, but Tom Ford lipsticks are you definitely get what you pay for. I find they're moisturizing, they're they're nourishing to the lips. I don't find that they kind of fall off throughout the day. They don't fade. Of course, if you eat or drink, they're gonna have some transfer onto the glass or a burger or whatever you're eating. They can't stay on forever. And they're much more friendly to a mature lip, I have found, for my as my lips are aging and for some reason they're aging fast the last three or four years. I, I do reach for Tom Ford a lot because of the nourishing uh, ingredients in it and the way it makes my lips look and feel. So that is the top five non-matte lipsticks. Now we're gonna transition into lip tint slash moisturizing slash stain. Let's do that. So in terms of lip tints or stains, my um, I got three of these and, and unfortunately there wasn't a drugstore brand that I found in this category that I reach for all the time. Good enough to recommend to you guys in this top five favorites. The first one though is Clarins and this is um, $26. What I love about this one is it has a nice shine to it, but it also has a, some moisturizing effects and it's a lip oil. So it does have some sort of benefit to your lip, if you will. And unlike some of the other ones that I've reached for and then I throw them out is there it's because they're sticky. This one is not sticky. And so I love that about it because you can just put it on real quick for a little bit of a tint. You can see that's just slight color, hardly any color at all and it's really just gives you a little bit of a boost. As I get older, my lips seem to be becoming a little bit more translucent, and uh, which I don't love. So I do like this because it just gives me a little bit of color without looking like I have a ton of color on, and it gives me some nourishing, moisturizing benefits to it as well, and it plumps, so that's always a plus. And then the other two that I highlighted on my Instagram stories in the summer was these new Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love. This one is Pink Petal and tripping on love. And I, I love these because again, it's a quick look if you're just wanting to add, let's let's see what we can do this left-handed. We'll be curious to see. <laughs> this should be interesting. I like them, oh, that kind of tickles on that arm. I like these because they are light and no smell. And it just gives you that little bit of color. If you're not a big makeup person, you don't want that thicker feeling of lipstick on your lips, you're not somebody that wants to wear a lot of makeup, but you want to have just a little bit of color, then these might be something that you're interested in. This Trippin' on Love is a little bit darker, which is why I've loved it for fall. If you are newer to makeup, you're less comfortable with wearing thicker um, makeup, thicker lipstick, and you just want something quick and just gives a little bit of color, almost more of that natural lip color, then these two by Charlotte Tilbury might be um, a good option. They are pricey. They're $34 and I it's hard to justify or recommend that price point, but these are in my top five in terms of lip tint, lip stain. So I did wanna be fair and put them in here and they have hearts on them. So that's a bonus because I love hearts. So there you go in terms of lip tint. Now I did promise you guys a couple extras. So in terms of plumping, I do use a lip plumper sometimes, but um, when I do, I reach for Buxom, hands down almost always, because it works. I, I just love that menthol sort of flavor that it gives your lips. Um, in fact, whenever I kiss my husband, he can tell when I have that on, because he's like, my lips feel tingly. Um, and I'm like, yes, and they're going to be larger in just a few minutes. It always makes him a little nervous what to expect. But I reach for the Sandy 
and then I will sometimes reach for Ryan, which is this darker color, but more often than not, I'll reach for this lighter one, which is white Russian, and I'll put this, and sometimes this lighter one, depending, right in the center of my lips once I put my lip liner on, my lipstick on, and then I'll put dab just a little bit of these lighter colors right in the center. Um, they don't plump so much that where you don't put it, it's not going to be plump. So don't be afraid of, of putting it in some places and not the other because you won't get the full plumping effect. I have not found that my lips look smaller on the side because I just put the plump in the center. But if you do want to plump the whole thing, then those are a couple good options for you. And then in terms of a splurge, if you're looking for a splurge, you know, Sicily products carry very good ingredients inside the product itself. I do have, and I love this number 11, I think, yeah, 11. It's, it twists, it's very easy to use. I like this color because I feel like my lips sort of look like that summer, just kind of peachy, but, but a little bit pink, but they're moisturized. They don't feel dry or cracked throughout the day. It's easy to throw in your purse. Some very good moisturizing, nourishing ingredients are inside of this one. And again, it was $53, a dollar, what, $5 less than Tom Ford, almost the same product amount. But there are some definite benefits to this in terms of skincare product. And um, it is also a very pretty, and this comes in a lot of different colors. So if you're looking for a splurge and you don't think that color is a good match for you, if you have lighter skin, it may be a little obviously darker. And if you have darker skin, then that may not show up quite as good as you'd like for it to. But there is a nice color range in this Sicily um, lip gloss, they call it. And then finally, we are at the end. What I promised you guys is what is my hands down all time favorite lip combo that I reach for if I was to have a signature look. I mean, I'm not famous enough to have a signature look, but if I did have a signature look, it would be the one I wear way more often than not is probably over 300 days a year. As I said that earlier, that's a little scary, but that's probably so true because I'm a creature of habit and it just matches. I like stuff that sort of coordinates, but doesn't totally match so there's some contrast in there but it just all sort of looks like it should go together and that is the NYX that I talked about earlier in natural which is number four that's the combo I have on today I can put it on I don't know how well it will show up because it's what I have on right now and then with that I line my lip and then cover my whole lip in this natural four in NYX the older I get I do reach for Tom Ford a little bit more because of the nurturing effects but if you like this lip combo color and you think that the Tom Ford is just not something you want to put in your budget then this shining peach for $8.99 is so similar in color to the blush nude that that's a definitely a good dupe and they both go really well with this NYX natural so there you have it you guys. I know it was a long video. I apologize for that But I promised you top five reach for current favorites These are more you know a lot more of these are staples for me than current But I wanted to share that with you so it gives you some ideas from different price points if you're looking for Some new lip options or some things that maybe you can include in your routine that are your tried and true and go to Some really nice products here that I've been really happy with so love sharing this with you guys Stay tuned for this series. Make sure you're subscribed. Share this series with your friends, anybody that wears makeup that might be looking for some new holiday ideas, some gift options, some price points that are either luxury or midpoint or drugstore, all good quality products. And coming up next in the series is all about the face. So we're gonna cover foundation as well as contouring. I've already done a powder video, so that's I'll link that up above so you can follow that one if you'd like. But we've got two more in the series. So we're gonna do face and then we're gonna do cheeks, which will also include highlighter. So be sure that you are a subscriber so you're notified when those videos come out in the series. Thanks so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in any of these products. And stay tuned for more favorites. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.